For today's lesson, we are finding the lowest common multiples of two numbers. Before we go into that, let us look at what is a multiple. The multiple of a given number is the product of that number and any old number greater than zero. For example, the multiples of 5 would be 5 times 1. 5 would be the first multiple of 5, followed by 5 times 2, which would be 10. So we have 5, 10, 15. Those are some multiples of 5. What is LCM? Well, LCM stands for least common multiple or lowest common multiple. If we wanted to find the LCM of two numbers, we would have to look for the smallest number that both the numbers could be divided into. Let us look at some ways how we can find the LCM of two or more numbers. Okay, let us look at an example. And first, we are going to look at the easiest way of finding the LCM of two numbers. Now, the easiest way of finding the LCM of two numbers is to list the, some multiples and then we can pick out the one that is smallest. Now, let us list the multiples of 5 first because this question says, what is the LCM of 5 and 6? So, the first thing that we'll do is to list some multiples of 5. Okay, the multiples of 5 listed here are 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Those are the first 10 multiples of 5. And if, of course, we could go on and on and on and on because multiples are infinite, meaning there's no end to them. Right? Now, let us move on to the multiples of 6. The multiples of 6 listed are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, and 60. Now, what we would need to do to find the LCM of these two numbers is to look to see which number is common in both sets. Now, when we find something that is common in both sets, we look for the smallest one. Now, in this case, I am seeing 30 as common to both sets. There is no number that is smaller than 30 that is common to both. Therefore, the LCM of 5 and 6 highlighted here is 30. Although this method is quite easy because all you need to do is to list the multiples and then picking out the smallest one that is common in both sets, the lowest one that is common in both sets and you would have your LCM. Now in some cases you have to get find the LCM of very large numbers and it is sometimes difficult to list out all the multiples of those numbers. So, let me move into another way of finding the LCM of two numbers. So, let us move on to finding the LCM of two numbers using the divisor method. Now, when you're using the divisor method to find the LCM of two numbers, you need to know some prime numbers. Now, you need to know the first prime number, going up until about 19 where you'll use those prime number on a regular basis. Now, so the prime numbers that were listed here are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. And of course, there are more prime numbers, but these ones would be used more frequently. Now, the first question that we'll be looking at, or the example that we'll be looking at, is to find the LCM of 5 and 6. Now, as you can see, we already have our table drawn up here with two columns, one for, fi one for five and one for six. Now, we are going to ask ourselves, which one of these is the smallest factor or the smallest prime number that can go into any of these numbers without leaving a remainder? So we look at the smallest prime number, which is two, to check to see if it can go into any of these numbers. If it is a factor of any of these numbers, then we'd have to use two. So we start out with 2. Can 2 go into 5 without leaving a remainder? No, it can't. So the 5 would remain as is. Can 2 go into 6? Yes, 2 can go into 6. How many times? 3 times. Therefore, we, we are finished with our first 
first step of using two. If two could be used again, we would use two in this line. But in this case, it can't be used again. So therefore, we move to our next prime number, which is three. Can three go into five without leaving our remainder? No, it can't. But it can go into three. So we still use three. Three into five, it can't. So we put back five as is. Three into three goes one time. Now we are finished with three with, with six because we end up with one in the column. And when we reach one in the column, we would have finished with this number. Now we move back to the five. We have not touched the five as yet because the only number that can go into five is five and one because five is a prime number. So we move to five. So we move to the next prime number, which is five. Five into five goes one time. Now we have the prime factors of five and six combined together. Now, all you would need to do is to multiply them by each other, which is to multiply two by three times five. These numbers that we use on this side that we use, all the prime factors that we use, we are going to multiply them by each other to find the LCM. So let us go further. The LCM of five and six is to multiply two by three by five, and that would be equal to 30. Let me just run back with you quickly again. So these are the prime numbers that were used and all we need to do at the end is to multiply them by each other and we would get our LCM. Remember when you're finding the LCM, we only use prime numbers, prime numbers only. Okay, and this again is the divisor method. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye.